Patrick Cunningham. Well, for Central Illinois football players, time to put on your high school helmets for the final time while also playing for a great cause in the annual Illinois Shrine Game. Greeting Summer from Shiner's Children Hospital. Giving high fives to the players. She did a great job at the national anthem as well. Get to the game in the first quarter. Red team with a screen pass, but there with the tackle is Pekin's Tanner Sprecher. It was all defense early. Peoria High's Landon Newby Wholesome going to get a hit here right in the hole. Dunlap Sam Morgan coaching his teammates up during the break. Second quarter, Eureka's Justice Bachman. He's going to catch this pass just short of the first down here, but they would later score. Then a big special teams play. This punt is going to get away from the red team. Normal West Brock Lienerman with the big hit on the punter comes out to the three yard line. They'd score again. Here's blue team, but newbie wholesome and Eureka's Dennis Wiegand meeting him at the line. Go to the second half. Red quarterback finds Tri Valley's Blake Reginald. Look at him holding on for the great catch after the big hit. And another great catch from Central Catholic's Ryan Haverly down the field. He's going to haul it in despite that pass interference and great coverage. They're going to look for him again, but it's El Paso Gridley's Dax Gentis breaking up the pass. Blue wins 20 to 3 in a defensive battle and brings an end to these men's high school careers. Definitely a bittersweet because, I mean, going off our last game, it didn't turn out the way we wanted it to, so it's nice to have one last game to you know go the way you want it. Great time. I was really grateful to be able to strap on the pads one last time. Great time, man. Like it was for the kids, so it felt great, man. You know, playing for a cause, going out here giving it all, like playing with other all-stars, we're playing with good people, you know, connecting with different people, networking, meeting great coaches, meeting great people. It was a great week. We moved on to the next step, so it's like it's like a, it's a high and a low to it. So you know, I'm ready for the next step, ready for college ball. It was a great time, honestly. Meeting some new guys, it was just a great experience and awesome with uh also, with the, yeah, just like the, the relationships you make here, and it's obviously for the kids at Shriners. It's really cool to see that and like meet up with the kids. Blue team gets the win, but what a great week for a very worthy cause. Families were up bright and early for the 49th annual Steamboat Classic. Runners from all over the area competing in a four-mile race and a 15K run. Four-mile race, man, it really came down to the wire. Bradley graduate Max McDaniel, you're going to see him there in white with the pass on the home stretch to win in just 20 minutes flat. Former Limestone state champion Nicole Benson, she won the women's four-mile race. Well, we're getting